How do buildings affect me? I never thought about it before. I suppose I need different things from a building. Sometimes I just want a quiet place to think and concentrate. But sometimes I want to chat to people, you know, swap ideas. Whether it's somewhere we work, study or relax, the places we occupy shape the way we feel, the way we behave and ultimately our physical and mental health. That's why we can't just think about how buildings work. We have to understand how they make people feel. When it gets a bit hot and stuffy, I struggle to keep my eyes open. So being able to open a window helps. And I need to be able to see outside, to know what the weather is doing, see the light changing. It makes me feel less cut off from the world. That helps me refocus on what I'm doing when I'm inside all day. I feel better when I can move around. Being able to stretch my legs is important. It's also better for my circulation, not to mention my sanity. Each of us is unique. We experience buildings and the environment around us in different ways. As architects and designers, we believe that good building design must begin with the people who use them. So we've created a tool to ask more in-depth and imaginative questions about people's well-being in buildings, allowing us to listen carefully and respond to their needs. This process drives our approach to building design because well-being should be at the heart of everything we do.